Greetings and thank you for joining us for Mental Health Awareness Month. We started the month presenting the question, where do you see God in your experiences with mental health and wellness? And we shared with you all a lot of amazing content. You got to read stories, poems, uh, listen to songs from people who so graciously shared with us their stories and experiences. We also shared with you some content around information on various aspects of mental health uh, from anxiety, depression, grief, um, we talked about shame, the brain, ways to find a therapist, as well as ways to develop resources for your congregation or your organization in your community. And so we hope that all of the content that we shared with you was inspirational to you, was informative for you, changed the ways that you are thinking about mental health, the places that you are able to now locate God in your own experiences with your mental health and wellness and that it inspired you in how you might be able to show up not only for yourselves, for but also for your community. I want to specifically thank Barbara, Diana, John, Mary, Alice, Richard, Rick, Robbie, Sarah, and Whitney for the sharing of their stories. We are better for your vulnerability. Thank you for reminding us that God is indeed with us. Thank you for reminding us that we are beloved children of God in the midst of every experience that we have. Thank you for reminding us that we don't have to carry the shame uh, with us in the things that we're facing with our mental health. Thank you for reminding us that when no one else sees us, as Whitney said, God sees beyond the stigma of what we might be facing. And so thank you all that God is with us. As, uh, as Richard said, God's hand, even being on the brain during a moment of psychosis, which is so powerful. In addition to these stories um, and experiences from the wonderful people who shared with us, we also shared some scriptures. Psalm 73, 23. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. This reminder that God, we are always with God. God is always with us, no matter what it is that we are facing. And many of the stories that we shared kept coming back to that same refrain as this next portion of scripture, Psalm 139, 7 through 12 does. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Another reminder that God's hand is holding us fast in the midst of what we are facing, that you are not alone, that there is no darkness that you will ever be in, that God cannot be there with you. Even the dark is light to God. And finally, Psalm 34, verse 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I pray that these scriptures, that these stories, that this information we've shared with you this month of May continues to encourage and inspire and inform you. Please know that you can always return to the pages on our website uh, to reach out to get this information. And I hope that you will share it with others and that you will use it in the future whenever you need it. It is there. I also want to leave you with a blessing for those who are in need uh, of a blessing, this is from Jessica Kentrowitz from her book, Blessings for the Long Night, Poems and Meditations to Help You Through Depression. And this blessing reads, may you feel better. And in the meantime, may you feel what you feel without guilt or shame or pressure. May you recover your energy and hope. 
And in the meantime, be accepted and cared for and carried. May your suffering end and not only end, may it be redeemed. And in the meantime, may you find a moment or two of distraction in each day and maybe even a moment of joy. And may those moments cling together like droplets, seeking each other on a window pane till they become a full glass of water. And beloved, may you drink. May you drink. Thank you again for joining us this Mental Health Awareness Month. We pray that you will be well and that you receive the care that you need. Please stay tuned for additional resources that will be coming. Grace and peace be with you.